We're Jerry and Diana. Early this summer, we took our Ford Ranger for a truck camping trip. We started in Skykomish, Washington. Then we moved to Leavenworth, where we slept in the truck in a parking lot. We saw a cougar, 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 and we camped in the rain at the Eight Mile Campground on Icicle Creek in Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest. This morning, we'll show you a trick for making easy and delicious hash browns. The question is, is this rock bottom? We don't know. film themselves cooking. Oh. Haven't you ever noticed? Okay. We gotta film ourselves cooking. What you doing? Cooking. <laughs> really getting ready to cook morning and wait for the potatoes to hydrate. Oh, what do you use for potatoes, Jerry? Idaho spuds. There we go. Found those. Uh, YouTube channel Firebox Stove. Old white dude with goats and a family and he's got a company that makes stove pack, backpacking stoves. That's what he uses and they have them at Costco. I'm in the, I think it's an eight pack. When did you start bringing those home? Last year. During the pandemic? Well, I'd used them camping before mm. that. They're pretty much our go-to now. Yeah, well they make, they make great hash browns. They're easy. You don't have to peel anything. You don't have to pack potatoes. Yeah. Right? You don't have to prep them. Just pour water at them and hydrate them. You gotta be patient though. Gotta wait for them to hydrate. You gotta be patient. It takes 12 minutes to hydrate, so we got five minutes left. Oh, and what kind of pan are you using? Oh, a cast iron pan. I don't remember what this brand is. Got it off Amazon, and it was fairly reasonable, but it already had the bottom smooth. Uh, stuff doesn't stick to it very well without even seasoning it. It's supposedly it's pre seasoned, but we've used this a couple times now. It, it doesn't stick at all. And it came with a lid, right? A lot of them don't come with the lid. It did not come with the silicone handle cover. Uh, my brother gave me this, but this is essential because the heat on a cast iron dissipates across the whole pan so well, it, it uh, conducts the heat. So you need this, or you need a oven mitt or something to use this if you're really uh, cooking for any length of time, because this will get too hot to touch. Even this gets too hot sometimes. What are you doing there, Jerry? Using my pocket bellows. It's <laughs> essentially a collapsible metal strip. It's a it's a old car antenna, basically is what it is. I mean, it's designed for that. <laughs> Just collapsible tube to blow into, and it works really well. Leftover hamburger and hot dogs from the camping trip. Or I don't know if all of this is a lot of pepper. Yeah, I don't know about don't all that tell pepper. Me when. That's probably good, huh? Yeah. A little too much to use it up. We pre-cut the red bell pepper at home so that we don't have to chop it here. It's quite the conglomeration. Bell pepper, leftover turkey patty, cheddar bratwurst. <laughs> That's what we had. What, and it's gonna be delicious. You know it will <laughs> you be. Know it is. Whenever you throw in hash camping, it's always good. That's what it looks like. It's hydrated. It's all puffed up. Looks like taters. Because mm -hmm. it's taters. And it makes a lot. It makes way more than you think. Looks like rice on camera. Does it? Mm -hmm. Spatula is a hand me down from Jason from his wedding. Spatula from in that, Yeah, I think that's where it came from. <laughs> He had, he had a couple of these with him when he went camping. I'm like, that's the size spatula you need. I want one that's small enough to be practical for this pan. Yeah. He's like, well, it paid like a buck for it. It was perfect. Looks 
there a difference between the salt and peppers and the shakers? Yeah, that's uh, that's garlic and dill. Oh, it's not salt and pepper. No, this is this is salt and pepper. Now, how long did we the lid on? Well, with the cast iron, I noticed yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, no, the day before. Yesterday we were in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> About two minutes. At home with the electric fan, I'm not quite. It's not quite as hot. I can turn this down, I suppose. But it's working good. Two minutes. And then you flip them. Yeah, I flip them. How many times do you do that? Five or six. I like them crispy. Yeah, mine dried out, so that's why I'm getting the instructions. Well, you keep them covered. Don't monkey with them. If you monkey with them, you're going to dry them out. Just flip them and cut them back up. And if they start to dry out, put more margarine or butter on them. You can actually spritz them with some water if you want. You have a brand new stove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one doesn't need any introduction. It's the green Coleman stove. that. <laughs> Everybody that has ever lived, traveled, camped, owns. What happened to your Coleman stove? My ancient one? Yeah. I I converted it over to propane. I had a big light gas one <coughs> from when I was a child. And we camped with it last year. Converted it over to propane. I'm trying to downsize, like physically get things smaller so it's easier to fit all, everything in the truck so it can lock, we can lock it up. And, uh, but we have the bed available to us pretty quickly. So I didn't want everything stacked on there. Yeah. So this this was part of the solution. But Caleb has it now. My son took it. Yep, done. Time for eggs. Right? I even made my yolks running, which I don't normally go for, but I like good. avocados. I didn't know that either. Just showing we're never too old to learn. Yep. Sleeping in parking lots. Going to safely in our pajamas to go pee. We're too old to work our way down the socioeconomic chain. The question is, is this rock bottom? We don't know.